Hello, I'm Matt and welcome to Badger Workshop. So this is the Evolution R255 SMS Mitosol. Now, I had a previous model of this and I did a review of it and Evolution contacted me and said, you know, I did a fair review. So some of the things I said it was good at, some it wasn't, obviously. Uh, anyway, they contacted me and said, We've made a lot of improvements. Can we send you the newer model? So, of course, I said yes. So, they sent me the newer model and they sent me the stand, which is really useful actually. Because if you've uh, seen some of my videos before, you might have seen me build a workshop and some shepherd's huts. And having a stand to be able to set it up outside and work is really good. So, if you haven't seen how these stands work, there's a couple of levers. It just lifts on and off, incredibly simply, and locks down. So, let me have a look at my notes. So, they sent it to me nearly a year ago now, but I said I'm going to be building a new workshop, and that's a perfect opportunity to use it. So, I'm not going to review it until uh, I've done that. So. I've been using it for nearly a year, so I think you get a good idea of it. So, first thing, I put it together, and I thought it feels nicer than the previous model. Everything fitted a little better. Uh, the plastic is a nicer quality. It felt good. So, came with this clamp. Went to make a test cut, put the clamp in, it had a little metal foot on the clamp there, tightened it down, the foot pinged off. So I never even got to make one cut with the clamp. So that wasn't very good. And if I bought this saw, obviously I would have complained to who I bought it from. But as I said it for me for free, I just left it and thought I would uh, mention it in the review. Um, so I think what we should do is make some cuts because last time basically my conclusion was good saw for some construction you know i built the shepherd's hut and the workshop with it great for that not so good for doing things like a picture frame so let's try and make a picture frame and see how it comes out i'm not going to play with the setup of the saw i'm just going to use the preset indents I've got four pieces of wood already, and I'm just going to make a square frame. So I'm going to put a 45 degree on one end of all of them. With that done, I'm going to flip the saw around to the other 45. Now you might say you could just flip the workpiece instead of resetting up the saw. But if you was actually making a picture frame out of some moulding, or anything that had a rebate in the back, you wouldn't be able to do that. I'm making these cuts with my Nil Fisk vac plugged in and it automatically starts when I pull the trigger of the saw. So I made those eight cuts there and you can <laughs> see the sawdust that's on the saw. So the dust collection is definitely not great. It's tricky to do this without getting a clamp on it. That is not terrible. I'm not sure I'd be happy with it as a picture frame, but maybe tweaking the settings, you could get that a lot better, probably. Now, of course, this saw's party trick is its blade, the fact that it can cut multiple materials. Now, I've used it to cut some metal, and it's done a very good job of that. And that's why I'm definitely going to keep this saw, because I want to get into more metal working, and the ability to do that is great. Now, why this saw doesn't work for me is because of the size. It just, the sliding nature of these saws just take up far too much room and not really the sort of, uh, fault of this saw, it's this fault of this style of saw. And I just don't have room in the workshop. So I'm going to have this permanently set up in the garage. If I need to cut down some really long lengths, I can use this and for any metal working. Now for the workshop, I've been using the table saw for everything, but I might get a smaller mice saw in the future. So, 
my conclusion is similar to before really for construction it's great uh, working outside on this stand really was an essential tool for building this workshop cutting down all the two by four material all the cladding great job um, in the workshop it's too big for me the accuracy definitely looks better than the one before and I've not done any fine tuning so maybe you could get it better but it's just not going to work in this space for me so for cutting multiple materials great for construction great I'm definitely going to hold on to it for those things but I'm probably going to get something else for the workshop uh, I hope this was helpful for some people thanks for watching Please subscribe for more videos.